up, y'all? Osiris here, yoga with Osiris. Take off your shoes, relax your feet. Don't worry about my head being in the shot or not. All right, everybody, if you're ready, gonna get into a flow today. Just a flow for release and surrender, whatever it is you're working on releasing, whatever it is you're working on surrendering to. So let's come into a child's pose to start, y'all. Para bien. Uh, let me back up a little bit so y'all can see me. There we go. In your child's pose, relax your third eye, first eye to the ground. Take an inhale. Let it go. Uh, now, inhale all of the earth's power. Take it in. It's not just letting go. It's about receiving it and then release uh, one more inhale. Let it go. Uh, come up to all fours when you're ready. Let's take some yummy cat cows. Rolling the shoulders back. Exhale back of heart towards sky. You got it. I'll take this off so you can see shape. I know it can be confusing sometimes. Inhale forward. Dropping your belly. Exhale, back of heart up towards the sky. If you're not familiar with what this looks like from the side is so, inhale forward. Exhale, back of heart towards the sky. Good job. A few more of these, inhaling forward. Exhale, back of heart. One more, relaxing your eyebrow. Your face doesn't help this position. Inhale forward. Relax into the knees and then exhale back and forth towards the sky, stretching through the quadriceps right here. The psoas pulls up and pulls the quad. Inhale to a flat back. Good job. We'll go straight into our first downward dog. Tuck the toes. Push back into your downward dog. Walk the heels out here. Pushing into one heel at a time. Uh, activating all four parts of your feet so that they're balanced and even. Even if the heels are on the ground, the heels are active. You can feel your calves, you can feel your hamstrings. How many toes do you have? Count them from left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm done, that's all the toes I got. If you got more than me, that's dope. Go ahead and push your heels down. Take an inhale, stick your tongue out of the mouth, let it go. <sighs> Good job. Inhale up to your tippy toes. Come forward into your plank. From here, bring your left foot forward. Put your right knee down on the ground. Bring your left hand on the inside of your left foot. Send your right toes back. And then just gently twist up with that left hand on the inside of the left foot. Play with the balance. See if you can squeeze your thighs together here, scissoring them. Like scissors moving closer to each other. Take an inhale. Exhale, let it go. Just a little deeper, inhale. Exhale, bring the hand down, activate the core, good job. Bring the right hand down to the ground, now twist up to the left side. Inhale, open. Exhale, let it go. Ground yourself. How slow can you get within your movement and still move quickly? Can you be the pace? Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Ah, one more, big inhale. Beautiful, exhale, bring the hand down. Instantly drop the leg to straight, lean back a little bit for Hanumanzasana. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Ah, just reading the Bhagavad Gita. A few more breaths here. And it talks about how the true spirit is eternal. It is undying, it is all. It takes the form in this world so we can understand it, inhale because humans are still addicted to form and suffering and form breaks so that is our addiction to suffering but spirit is ever essent inhale the knee forward bring the foot back push back into downward dog again good job we're gonna do the opposite side take an inhale let it go ah yes i everybody say yes i yes i inhale yes i Yes, I. Yes, I. And if you watch your monkey mind, say, yes, I what? Yes, I am what? <laughs> Play with it. Inhale, right leg up. Oh, exhale, right foot forward between the hands. Drop the back knee. 
between the right hand on the inside of the right foot. Inhale, left arm up. Activate the legs. Inhale up for a twist. Inhale. Pushing that right tricep into that right knee and letting them counterpose each other, pushing into each other so that the action can be a contraction. Inhale. Contraction. Not a contradiction, just a contrary action. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Oh, one more. Let it go. Bring it down. Something so beautiful about the ability to study while you are in pleasure. So often we think pleasure is not associated with expansion or study or growth. But is it not truly pleasurable to feel yourself expand and grow? Inhale. There we go. Don't do that at home in your room, y'all. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Oh, one more inhale. Find your rhythm. Exhale, bring the hand down. Now bring the left foot straight up to the front next to the right. Nice. Good job. Wind the knees out here. Walk them out. Lift your left foot off the ground. Kick your butt if you can. Put it down. Put your right foot off the ground. Kick it down. Now from here, grab your ankles and inhale halfway up or grab your calves and inhale halfway up to a flat back like so. Rolling your shoulders back, finding your center. There you go. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale halfway up again. Nice. Exhale, forward fold. Now straighten. You see how I'm looking up here and you're looking at the screen, looking at me in the eyes. Straighten the back of your neck. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful chest. <sighs> mm. Plant the hands. Excuse me. Push back into plank. If you have any mucus inside of you, remember that mucus membranes exist in the body to alkalize the body and to cure disease. Disease. So make sure your mucus is leaving your body. If you are very mucusy, it could be something related to your diet or your lymph nodes not processing stress the proper way. Take an inhale. Lower all the way down slowly for a count of five, four, three. Activate the core, activate the glutes. One, hover, release down, point the toes back. Inhale up to like an 18 year old cobra. Inhale. Just got the ability to buy tobacco. Inhale. Isn't it crazy that we have to reach an age to receive plant medicine? Makes you wonder how disconnected are we actually? Inhale. Or do we know what's happening? We're just a little bit twisted. Drop back into child's pose, restorative. Knees next to each other, feet next to each other, hands back beside the body. Drop the mind's eye onto the ground. Forgive yourself for whatever it is you need to forgive yourself for. Take a big breath. Give a big breath. Take a big breath. Give a big breath. Take a big breath. There you go. Release it. If you got to poop, poop. If you got to fart, fart. There you go. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Nice. That subtle drop in is what you're looking for. You don't have to jump all the way off the cliff. Just get to your edge. Breathe a little bit more. Experience the moment. See what's coming up and work with it. Don't judge it. You don't have to formulate an opinion. You don't have to fix it. You are not a problem. You don't have to make it go away. It has already showed up. <sighs> Inhale up. Plant hands right in front of your knees. Tuck toes. Push back to the back of your mat into a forward fold. Beautiful. Shake the head out a little bit. Shaking it no. Nodding it yes. Feeling what your body needs. You need to bend one knee. Take an inhale. Let it go. Ah. Wow. Yeah. Ah. Mm. Now, roll all the way to the top. All the way to the top. All the way. Bringing the crown to the most eye. Rolling the shoulders back. 
inhale hands up above the head you can't see me but your hands are going to go all the way up and then come down into prayer bend the knees a little bit inhale hands up again exhale hands down and one more time inhale what it is you are working on inhale it up let it return to the heavens for a moment so it can get its ultimate juice hold it up there inhale keep it up there hands facing each other what are you manifesting is it your ability to be secure is it prosperity for me it's life insurance I want to ensure that my life is in a consistent, harmonious, prosperous flow of well-being and equanimity. So I inhale that from the heavens and I exhale, bring the hands down through prayer in front of the mind's eye, in front of the crown, in front of the throat chakra, speaking your truth to the heart, through the heart, to the solar plex, letting your soul shine through all the way down to the sacral chakra activating the lava that is your primordial breathing ground straight to your core your mantle your heat center your root chakra the red roots that are running out of your toes and heels into the root systems of psilocybin and oak all the way deep deep into mamakaya take an inhale bring a gentle smile to the mouth let it go forward fold all the way down Walk the hands out, coming into a downward dog or a pyramid pose, depending if we're doing uh, traditional Hindu esoteric yoga or if we're practicing comedic yoga. These poses still conduct the same energy. Inhale. Nice. Let it go. Uh, plant the knees. We'll do one backhand, backhand here before we get out of here. Bring the hands to the lower back like so. And go ahead and just... Activate the quads, send the hips forward, and just lean back a little bit, rolling the shoulders, opening the neck, activating the engines, take an inhale. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> inhale. Lean back a little bit more. <sighs> nice, inhale back up. You can come down, come into your seat, come into a cross-legged pose. Bring your right leg, left leg across the right, straighten the right leg out. Just give yourself a gentle twist here, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Extend the left leg long, bring the right leg across. Gentle twist, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What is it that you're manifesting? So, option to take Shavasana here if you want to lie back, extend the legs long like so. Oh, feet mat width apart, hands, palms up by the hips, shoulders relaxed down. Allow the ankles, feet, calves, lower back, glutes, middle back, shoulders outside of the shoulders, traps and your soul to relax down into the ground. <sighs> Breathe. And let it go. <sighs> Inhale. Let it go. So staying in your Shavasana, before we slide, I'm going to read you something beautiful really quick. This is from Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita. I am the ritual and the sacrifice. I am true medicine and the mantra. I am the offering and the fire which consumes it. I am the one to whom it is offered. I am heat. I give and withhold the rain. I am immortality and I am death. I am what is and what is not. These are words from Krishna to Arjuna, reminding him of what he is and what Krishna is and what you are. So thank you for tuning in. This is Yoga with Osiris. I'm Osiris. Life insurance album comes out in one day. I love you. Stay blessed. Sat namaste, y'all. Black power. Woo!